Nestled on the border between France and Switzerland lies an engineering marvel of unprecedented scale, the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. Spanning over 27 kilometers underground, this colossal tunnel hosts a groundbreaking scientific experiment that has captivated the minds of thousands of researchers from across the globe. But what exactly is the LHC, and why is it regarded as the pinnacle of modern scientific inquiry? What is CERN? CERN is an international scientific organization founded in 1954 to conduct collaborative research into high-energy particle physics. The organization's headquarters are located near Geneva and focus on research of a purely scientific and fundamental character. CERN's facilities, including the world's largest machines and particle accelerators, attract thousands of scientists worldwide. The organization's achievements include Nobel Prize-winning scientific discoveries and technological breakthroughs like the World Wide Web. CERN's first particle accelerator, a 600 mega electron volt MEV synchrocyclotron, was activated in 1957, leading to the development of the theory of the weak force. The proton synchrotron, PS, and superproton synchrotron, SPS, were later developed, leading to the discovery of W and Z particles in 1983. The Large Electron Positron, LEP Collider, was inaugurated in 1989, accelerating electrons and positrons to 45 GeV per beam. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, was introduced in 2008, extending the reach of high-energy physics experiments to a new energy plateau. In 2012, the LHC discovered the Higgs boson, which carries the Higgs field and permeates space. The founding mission of CERN required the rapid transmission and communication of experimental data to sites worldwide. English computer scientist Tim Berners-Lee developed the World Wide Web, a hypertext system for linking electronic documents and transferring them between computers, which transformed the high-energy physics community and the entire world. Exploring the LHC The LHC, housed within the renowned CERN laboratory, is not merely a mundane infrastructure project. It represents humanity's relentless pursuit of understanding the fundamental nature of the universe. Within its confines, scientists accelerate subatomic particles to velocities nearing the speed of light before colliding them in a high-energy environment. This collision unleashes a cascade of subatomic debris, providing valuable insights into the underlying structure of matter and the forces that govern our reality. The term hadron refers to subatomic composite particles composed of quarks held together by the strong force, analogous to the way that atoms and molecules are held together by the electromagnetic force. The best known hadrons are the baryons, such as protons and neutrons. Hadrons also include mesons, such as the pion and kaon, which were discovered during cosmic ray experiments in the late 1940s and early 1950s. A collider is a type of particle accelerator that brings two opposing particle beams together, such that the particles collide. In particle physics, colliders, though harder to construct, are a powerful research tool because they reach a much higher center of mass energy than fixed target setups. Analysis of the byproducts of these collisions gives scientists good evidence of the structure of the subatomic world and the laws of nature governing it. Many of these byproducts are produced only by high-energy collisions, and they decay after very short periods of time. Thus, many of them are hard or nearly impossible to study in other ways. The Large Hadron Collider (LHC) is the world's largest and highest energy particle collider. It was built by the European Organization for Nuclear Research (CERN) between 1998 and 2008 in collaboration with over 10,000 scientists and hundreds of universities and laboratories across more than 100 countries. It lies in a tunnel 27 kilometers in circumference and as deep as 175 meters beneath the France-Switzerland border near Geneva. The first collisions were achieved in 2010 at an energy of 3.5 tera electron volts TeV per beam, about four times the previous world record. The discovery of the Higgs boson at the LHC was announced in 2012. Between 2013 and 2015, the LHC was shut down and upgraded. After those upgrades, it reached 6.5 tera electron volts per beam. At the end of 2018, it was shut down for maintenance and further upgrades, 
Reopening over three years later in April 2022, the collider has four crossing points where the accelerated particles collide. Nine detectors, each designed to detect different phenomena, are positioned around the crossing points. The LHC primarily collides with proton beams, but it can also accelerate beams of heavy ions, such as in lead-lead collisions and proton-lead collisions. The LHC's goal is to allow physicists to test the predictions of different theories of particle physics, including measuring the properties of the Higgs boson, searching for the large family of new particles predicted by supersymmetric theories, and studying other unresolved questions in particle physics. Design The collider is contained in a circular tunnel with a circumference of 26.7 kilometers at a depth ranging from 50 to 175 meters underground. The variation in depth was deliberate to reduce the amount of tunnel that lies under the Jura Mountains to avoid having to excavate a vertical access shaft there. A tunnel was chosen to avoid having to purchase expensive land on the surface and to take advantage of the shielding against background radiation that the Earth's crust provides. The 3.8-meter-wide concrete-lined tunnel, constructed between 1983 and 1988, was formerly used to house the large electron-positron collider. The tunnel crosses the border between Switzerland and France at four points, with most of it in France. Surface buildings hold ancillary equipment such as compressors, ventilation equipment, control electronics, and refrigeration plants. Superconducting quadrupole electromagnets are used to direct the beams to four intersection points, where interactions between accelerated protons take place. The collider tunnel contains two parallel beam lines, each with a beam traveling in opposite directions around the ring. The beams intersect at four points, where particle collisions occur. The LHC uses about 10,000 superconducting magnets, with dipole magnets weighing over 27 tons. The magnets are made of copper-clad niobium-titanium and require 96 tons of superfluid helium-4 to maintain their operating temperature of 271.25 degrees Celsius. The LHC uses 470 tons of niobium-titanium superconductor. The LHC draws 200 megawatts of electrical power from the French electrical grid during operations, while the accelerator and detectors draw 120 megawatts. Each day, the LHC generates 140 terabytes of data. When running an energy of 6.5 tera electron volts per proton, the field of the superconducting dipole magnets increases from 0.54 to 7.7 .7 teslas. The protons are bunched together into up to 2,808 bunches, allowing interactions between the two beams to occur at discrete intervals. Before being injected into the main accelerator, the particles are prepared by a series of systems that successively increase their energy. The first system is the Linear Particle Accelerator, Linax-4 generating 160 million electron volts of negative hydrogen ions, which feeds the proton synchrotron booster, PSB. There, both electrons are stripped from the hydrogen ions, leaving only the nucleus containing one proton, Protons are then accelerated to 2 giga electron volts and injected into the proton synchrotron, PS, where they are accelerated to 26 giga electron volts. Finally, the super proton synchrotron, SPS, is used to increase their energy further to 450 giga electron volts before they are at last injected, over several minutes, into the main ring. Here, the proton bunches are accumulated accelerated over 20 minutes to their peak energy and finally circulated for 5 to 24 hours while collisions occur at the four intersection points. The LHC physics program is mainly based on proton-proton collisions. However, during shorter running periods, typically one month per year, heavy ion collisions are included in the program. While lighter ions are considered as well, the baseline scheme deals with lead ions. The lead ions are first accelerated by the linear accelerator, LINAC-3, and the low-energy ion ring, ELIR, is used as an ion storage and cooler unit. The ions are then further accelerated by the PS and SPS before being injected into the LHC ring, where they reach an energy of 2.3 tera electron volts per nucleon, or 522 tera electron volts per ion higher than the energies reached by the relativistic heavy ion collider. 
The heavy ion program aims to investigate quark gluon plasma, which existed in the early universe. Construction and Mechanics the construction of the LHC involved the collective effort of thousands of individuals from diverse backgrounds, spanning over three decades and costing billions of dollars. Its intricate design includes a long, narrow tube encircled by powerful magnets, guiding particles along a path thinner than a human hair. Despite the seemingly minuscule scale of the particles involved, the impact of their collisions reverberates across the scientific community, reshaping our understanding of the universe's most fundamental building blocks. Probing the subatomic realm. To comprehend the scale of the particles studied at the LHC, one must contemplate the vastness of the cosmos juxtaposed with the infinitesimal size of protons. These subatomic entities, manipulated by the LHC's magnetic fields, serve as the catalyst for groundbreaking discoveries in particle physics, unlocking secrets that have remained hidden since the dawn of time. Unraveling Mysteries of the Universe At the heart of the LHC's mission lies a quest to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, from the origins of the universe to the nature of dark matter. Through meticulous experimentation and theoretical exploration, scientists seek to elucidate the fundamental building blocks of existence and expand humanity's collective understanding of reality. By delving into the subatomic realm, researchers aim to decipher the cosmic code that governs the universe's behavior, shedding light on phenomena that have puzzled scientists for centuries. The Quest for the Higgs Boson Central to the LHC's objectives was the discovery of the elusive Higgs boson, a particle theorized to imbue mass upon other particles. This groundbreaking achievement validated decades of theoretical speculation and provided a profound glimpse into the underlying fabric of the universe. By uncovering the Higgs boson, scientists unlocked a crucial piece of the cosmic puzzle, revealing the mechanisms that underpin the fundamental forces of nature. Future Prospects and Controversies Despite the LHC's monumental achievements, debates persist regarding the necessity of constructing even larger colliders. Advocates argue that such endeavors are essential for pushing the boundaries of scientific knowledge, while skeptics question the feasibility and cost-effectiveness of such endeavors. However, amidst these discussions, one thing remains clear. The pursuit of knowledge knows no bounds. Whether through the construction of larger colliders or the development of alternative research methods, humanity's quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe will continue unabated. Conclusion A Legacy of Discovery As we contemplate the significance of the LHC and its implications for humanity's future, one thing remains clear. Our relentless pursuit of knowledge knows no bounds. Whether probing the depths of subatomic particles or peering into the far reaches of the cosmos, our quest for understanding serves as a testament to the indomitable spirit of human curiosity and ingenuity. The LHC embodies humanity's insatiable thirst for knowledge, illuminating the path toward a future shaped by discovery and exploration. As we stand on the precipice of scientific advancement, let us embrace the challenges that lie ahead and continue our journey toward a deeper understanding of the universe and our place within it. And that's a wrap for our tour of CERN. From unraveling the mysteries of the universe to pushing the boundaries of scientific knowledge, the work being done here is nothing short of awe-inspiring. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into the world of science. Until next time, keep exploring.